What's going on, everyone? It's Brucey Sprue, and today I'm here on my skiller with a guide for Piscarillus Favor. My skiller just hit 82 fishing, so it's time to unlock anglerfish so I can AFK those bad boys for some nice GP. Anglerfish, I would say, are the main reason people get Piscarillus Favor, maybe outside of questing, and they are unlocked at 100% favor with Piscarillus. This guide is going to cover the basics of how I got from 0 to 100% favor on my skiller, and I will be covering the fastest ways to get favor and lightly touch on some other methods. So Piscarillus or Port Piscarillus is located on the northeastern side of Corend here. It's one of the five great cities of Corend, and it is known for its political corruptness, its crime, and of course its fishing and seaports. The fastest way for beginners to get to Port Piscarillus is going to be Veos here in Port Serum, who will take you there for no fee and no requirements. But if you have it already, you can use the Fisher's Flute Teleport on the Carrots Memoirs, the Minecart Network, or the Karend Castle Teleport. But I'd imagine just coming here to Veos and Port Serum is going to be the easiest option for everyone and just sailing on over. To start off getting favor, there's really only one activity that you can do, and that is going to be repairing the fishing cranes. There are five fishing cranes in total that can be repaired. There are three by the food hall and two outside of the general store. I would recommend heading to the general store because you will need to unnote some items, and it is a faster run. These are the cranes outside of the general store, and the ones outside the food hall are over there. So much quicker to do it over here, I would say. And to repair them, you will need at least 30 crafting. A hammer, noted planks, nails, steel or mithril are fine, but if you can afford better, it will speed up the process, as well as a stack of GP to be able to unnote your items. The best method, I would say, is just to head outside of the general store, click on a crane to start repairing it, and when you get low on planks, sell about 10 to 20 to the clerk here and buy them back for about one GP each. They do disappear pretty fast, so I would recommend doing this on your downtime. This activity can be sped up by doing it with other players, and the unofficial world for that is going to be World 303. And you can also work on the same crane as the dock worker, as the NPC here, and that will speed up the process as well. Each repaired crane takes three planks, and you have a chance to bend nails during this, which is based on the type of nail you're using and your crafting level. So for example, it was a lot less painful uh, coming here on my main way back when I did this with rune nails and 60 or 70 crafting. You'll get 0.5% favor per crane repaired and three times your crafting level in crafting XP per crane repaired as well. And you will need to do this until 20% or 30% favor. At 15% favor, you do unlock the ability to collect fresh fish from these barrels here and take them to Frankie in his shop here. But that is much slower than repairing the cranes and it shouldn't be done. At 20% favor, you unlock the ability to complete the Queen of Thieves quest, which requires 20 thieving and the completion of Client of Karend. And with that done, you will get an extra 10% favor, putting you at 30%. If you're like my skiller and you didn't want to do that or don't want to do that, just repair cranes until 30%. It's not too bad at all. Once you're at 30% favor, you unlock the fastest method, and this should be done up to 100% favor, and that is hunting sandworms. To hunt sandworms, you will need 15 hunter at least, a spade, some buckets, and some GP. Graceful also helps a lot here because you are moving constantly, so I would bring that if you have it. So to hunt sandworms, you'll need to head to the northeastern most part of Piscarillus here, and you'll just click on these sandworm castings on the ground, and it'll either give you a bucket of sand or a bucket of sandworms. I would just empty out the buckets of sand as you go until you get a full inventory, as a full inventory of sandworms is about 10% favor um, and it only takes a couple of minutes so once you've done this and you have a full inventory you will move a little bit south here and talk to Tynan in his shop you'll go ahead and talk to him and he will take your buckets of sandworms oh it looks like we need at least five let me do that real quick so I can show you hopefully we 
get it right here. Nope, never lucky. There we go. Okay, so you'll talk to Tynan with your sandworms, and he will take the sandworms and the buckets from you in exchange for favor. Each sandworm is about 0.36% favor, um, each bucket that you give him. And like I said, a whole inventory is about 10%, and that only takes a couple minutes really to, to do. So he'll take your buckets away. You'll want to buy more buckets from him, and then just repeat this process until you're at 100%. Um, and, and this really does take less than an hour. It is super fast. If you didn't want to do sandworms till 100% for some reason and you're really enticed by the thieving artifacts uh, thing that you can do for favor here, which is unlocked at 75% favor and requires at least 49, 49 thieving, you could do that. But each successful thieve is only going to grant you 2% favor. And this activity is more done as a thieving training method than as a method to get Piscarillus favor. So I'd recommend checking out a separate guide for that if you want to go that route. But sandworms are definitely going to be your fastest way once you have uh, the ability to do them at 30% favor. Once you have 100% favor, congratulations, you can now fish angler fish. These are located on the beach in the northeast part of Piscarillus, right below the fishing shop where you are, were turning in the sandworms. To be able to fish angler fish, you'll need at least 82 fishing, a fishing rod, and sandworms that can either be dug yourself or purchased from Tynan's shop there. They are super slow to fish, but they are such a good food resource and a good method of making GP as well because they are pretty valuable if you're able to handle the AFKness of them. So that is going to be it for the Piscarillus Favor Guide, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take care. Peace.